tangka. Ay ka lagi tiyo. March, get done hung. What do you think about all this? I like the way you think. How could the mighty Sienjo alliance be breached by a Stellaron? Something's not right. The Sienjo Alliance is a small faction, but one that derives its power directly from an Eon. They have immense strength, much more than a train under the protection of the fallen Akivili. Stellarons can lead to the collapse of stars scattered throughout the universe, but the Sienjo has land the hunt on their side. I struggle to believe that Stellarons pose a threat in the eyes of the Eons. Either the Stellaron hunters are lying, or there's an even bigger threat lurking on the Sienjo La Fu. <sighs> this is big. I'm coming with you this time. Kapka? Ugh, Pom Pom doesn't like her. She smells of danger. Well, get used to it. Still, a trailblazer should choose their goal and the road they take to get there themselves. That's the creed of the great Akivili. Whoa, what are you doing here? I gave him the lowdown. Hey, remember what I said, okay? We're gonna vote against it. I'm not gonna take orders from that woman. It's way too much of a coincidence. A Stellaron hunter shows up at the site of a Stellaron burst that just happens to be occurring nearby? Does anyone really believe that? Oh, I'm so mad. She just hijacks our communications and then hangs up? So rude. You used to know her, right? Was she always like this? No idea. Oh, yeah? Huh. Maybe she really liked you. Oh, yeah. I just spoke to Don Hung. Here's the deal. We've all got to vote against. Trust me, she'll hold a democratic vote. One for you, one for me, one for Don Hung. Three all together. We never go anywhere without a consensus. Sorry guys. But I may betray you. It was nice knowing you. Are you okay, Don Hung? March brought you up to speed, I assume. <clears throat> I'm fine. And yes, I'm up to speed. Good. In that case, with regard to the matter at hand, let's vote to decide our next move. Our Stellaron hunter claims that a Stellaron burst has occurred on the Sienjo La Fu, and that we're in the vicinity. If we head for the La Fu, we may have the chance to save many innocent lives. However, it's also possible that our Stellaron hunter is lying and using us for her own ends. Neither Welt nor I believe that she's telling us the truth, but we can't just ignore the intel she's given us. So, we're about to hold a democratic vote on whether to set a course for the Sien Zhou. All those in favor, hold out your hand. All those against, keep your arms by your side. Three, two, one.
Four against one. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Cien Zhou. Mas, didn't you say you're not gonna vote this? <sighs> I calmed down and thought about it a bit. If it turns out that woman isn't lying, then a lot of innocent people are gonna get hurt. Now's the time for thinking about other people. <laughs> All right, all right. I think we're all used to March's modus operandi by now. So, Don Hung, you want to stay here? Yes. I'm staying this time. In that case... Welt, ready for a trailblazing expedition? I know you've been itching to get out there for a while now. But make sure you take good care of the two of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Destination Sienjo, here we come! The train is about to make the journey! Another Five, four, three, two, one! Is this the same cutscene? Oh boy. Xianzhou ship? It looks even bigger than your Relo 6! How is that bigger than the planet? These ships are their planets. Terrestrial environments are cradles that allow civilizations to survive and then develop. Some of those civilizations progress further, constructing spacefaring vessels, which allow them to voyage into the unknown. The Xianzhou Alliance is one such civilization. I've only glimpsed it a few times, but it's as magnificent as I remember. You okay there? What's with all the lonely nostalgia vibes? <sighs> this is the Astral Express. I repeat, this is the Astral Express. We have arrived in Sienjo territory. Requesting landing permission from ground control. From the bridge, I mean. Welcome to Lofu Skyport. Our skin even. Please await transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. <sighs> Something's not right. The signal is still repeating, but no one is guiding us into dock. Maybe the Stellaron hunters were telling the truth. It seems like something really did happen to the Sienjo. A vessel arrives at a deserted spaceport. Isn't that how, like, loads of horror movies start? Let's not let our imaginations get the better of us. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Please wait transfer. Still the automated signal? Yes, it's still on repeat. Ah, there we go. The Jade Gate now opening. On behalf of the Sienjo La Fu, welcome, guests from afar. Please proceed to dock in accordance with the guidance. Huh? Is this still automated? The signal broke off. Seems that's all there is. We should get going. Himiko, stay vigilant back here on the Express. Relax. I've got Don Hung here with me. <laughs> yes, but I won't be putting my feet up. There's a lot to take care of here on the train. Make sure you're properly prepared before you set off. Before we set off, I need to clarify the aim of this journey with you. The Stellaron Hunters have given us a lot 
to consider and a lot to doubt. But the most important part of this expedition is Precisely. The Stellaron hunters clearly have ulterior motives. However, knowing what they're all about, and given the focus of Kafka's words, I have no doubt that the Sienjo is dealing with a Stellaron. The Alliance and the Express haven't had any previous dealings, so our arrival might not receive the warmest welcome. But as trailblazers, we're not in this for fame or gain. We just need to do everything in our power to assist the Sienjo and eliminate the source of disaster. Always keep that in mind, and don't forget the way of the trailblaze. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. Yeah! Let's go. This time we team up for it well. Although we're not gonna get to use him at all. Containers as far as the eye can see. This area isn't for receiving guests, it's for unloading cargo. Who decided to send us this way? Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. It gives me the creeps. Huh. Ah, stop talking. If there is someone here, they're in my bad books already. Mr. Yang, what should we do? We should start with the person who opened the Jade Gate. If it turns out they're not friendly, then at least they've already made things easier for us. If it turns out they were just doing their job, then we can ask them what happened here. Are you forgetting we've got Mr. Yang with us? Oh, right. You haven't seen what he can do yet. Kinda. Let's move. Keep your wits about you. Okay, now I can return back to the planet. What is now? What is that sound now? Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. Up, up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh... Try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it! This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Are you alright, buddy? Up ahead. Please, leave me. Ah, the chests are different here. So I guess every universe gonna have a di- Oh. Oh. Everywhere. The silver lining is that 
Based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... What monsters? Up ahead. Please. Up ahead. Really, they copy pace in that way. Oh, hello. Careful. We've never seen this kind of life form before. Awaiting orders, Mr. Yang. Come on, they can heal. Let's be friends. Reach the end of the story in your own way. <clears throat> Miss Ting Yun, fall back. They're Mara struck. We've already lost them. I like the designs. Close up. Thanks for saving beauty from the beast. <laughs> Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Hmm. Honored to meet me. Hey! <laughs> Miss Ting Yun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission immediately. Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. She so sure likes to My use that stuff. Is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Law Fu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown. Since none of you are Sienjo residents, may I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. 
The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found a strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. How can you tell? You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Well, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now. I'll lead the way. Hey, this is gonna be the same thing happening in Jalaba. No, Battle Bag all over again. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Oh, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck. Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. <laughs> what? Does he look like a crane to you? I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. Okay, the You've puzzle. already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? <laughs> I knew it! This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about getting us escorted away by your cloud knights. If it weren't for Mr. Yang... You misunderstand. If you were in my shoes right now, wouldn't you want to keep your guard up? Ah, uh, true. But we came here to trailblaze, not jailblaze. You mentioned the Stellaron. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion. <sighs> Let's see what this has. Oh, the defense one.
Płaki, że?